Hello and welcome to another set of turns of the False Pretenders. Joining me is Arpatheus. Hello. Ready for turn 87. 87. All right. All right. I think this may be the turn um, that we got our Kalem sub. Given that we haven't had a message for the last 20 turns, and now we have three. But let's see. Yes. Scuffles. Thank you so much for subbing in. Um, That's a fun name. I like that. Scuffles. Yes. I'll be leading the new High Seraphim, uh, leading Caleb to the glorious and inevitable victory. Uh, of course, you should go watch the battle in 115 before reading my next message. Okay, nice. All right. Um, I don't know which one of these is 115. It's well, not... we could just look at all the Caleb battles. Yeah, that's yes. Fair enough. And then... Oh, look at uh, Pelagia attacked Caleb. Oh, big turn. That's good. Uh, here we go. This is. I saw something scary looking. Oh, no. Not from Caleb. They're just pinging a, a scary Hinnom army. Well, either not, that or you're not going to make it away. No. No. No, no. All right, hold on. Is this, uh, does he mean from the turn before? I see, I think he might mean from the turn before because there was a huge battle there, wasn't there? Yeah. Because I don't think. Well, I don't know, we'll, we'll, let's watch I mean, this We'll see, we'll yeah, he's, he's military drone the golem. The lifelong protection, ring of returning. Okay, I don't think these guys are going to kill this. They might get soul slayed, though. That seems much more likely. Although he's, oh, he's doing moving attack. forwards. He's up. What is he doing? Oh, he's in he's melee. Punch them. He's eventually going to get sent home here. Probably. <laughs> the imp's not really helping him out here. No. Did he? Yeah, I think he got his ring of returning, so I think he just... Yeah, he went ring of return, but the other... Um... Yeah, I don't think he was soul slayed, though. Yeah, he just looks like he just died. Yeah, he just got hit with a... Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. I don't think that was what. Uh, no, that was speak from the turn before. Referring to. Okay. Seems to be a roadblock in the path toward glorious inevitable victory. It looks sort of like a giant pile of dead Caleb mages and troops. Ah, definitely, definitely the turn before. Um, a roadblock shouldn't hinder Caleb. Shouldn't it? Just fly over them. That's right. I feel like that battle definitely could have gone better. On the upside, it seems like we somehow made it to the turn timer and held the fort. The downside, the fort just contains a giant pile of dead Caleb mages and troops. Uh, the situation seems very dire. We even have giants who apparently don't believe in wearing pants in our cap circle. Nobody wants to see that. Um, so it looks like the two main goals at this point should be hold the capital and hold the conjuration discount site in 139, uh, where it seems like all of our immortal dead guys respawn. We've got piles of pearls, fire, water, and nature. Which are naturally the hardest ones for us to use, but not nearly enough air, earth, and death. Um, looks like we spent a lot of gems summoning chaff for the big fight. Uh, this turn, we're going to be attempting to consolidate what we have left and try to work out how to spend those other gem types productively. Uh, Caleb certainly seems doomed, but I think I can kill some hit on stuff and maybe entice others to attack them as well. Okay, but he's got a plan. He knows what he needs to do. He's going to get it organized, and hopefully he's going to deal uh, with the troglodytes. Hopefully. I, I'm, I'm disappointed we didn't get a message about the Troglodytes, but he probably doesn't know how long they've been there. Yeah, he doesn't know how long they, they've been <laughs> reigning over their kingdom. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Hinnom. Uh, the Caleb Mage Corps is probably a little destroyed. Um, been asking if people want in on the spoils, but no one seems interested. It's always fun. Um, this that is seems... a good way to sort of, uh, you know, prevent other people all attacking you. You know, if you're I, like, oh, you can go in. You know, I still, you know, it's still, I need still need the help. I'm not that big. Yep. Um, and also, you could go and get this easy thing instead of attacking me. Yep. But it doesn't look like people are interested. 
Uh, I'm not sure. So the other people would be what? Pelagia, Marverni, Vanheim? Marverni and Vanheim locked in an epic yeah, struggle. It's, yeah, it's basically just Pelagia. So, which yeah. I think we saw them attack, so I'm not sure. We did. And it looks like he's also yeah. worried about... So he is worried about being coalition, but also worried that a Gift of Nature's Bounty Nexus Gift of Health Pelagia is also quite strong. And if that's the only person moving in, it's a little scary. Although Pelagia has very few territories. Yeah, I mean, they also don't have a huge army. I, I don't think they're in a dominant position. Yeah. Personally. I, mean, I also, he, he might not know too much about the Vanheim Marvoni War, you know. Yeah, hard to know for sure. Yeah. He probably has some scouts, but he doesn't Maybe. necessarily know about yeah. it. Yeah. If the elves want to fight us, I think it's going to be easier for them to just take Palem land, which we'll happily to negotiate. If Marv wants to fight us, they, uh, then I can let them have 182 in the land around Kalem proper, his original cap region. Ladia wants to fight us, I probably have to actually fight them. Because if they get close to being the biggest uh, with all the globals they have, I think our stuff will start to pale in comparison. Everyone has been pretty friendly, though. Basically, everyone left the game has sort of been a bro to us at some point. Um, Vanheim for piecing out twice. Pelagia for helping with Vanheim and Kalem. Marverni for not stabbing us when we declared on Vanheim, or rather letting go of that. Uh, anyhow, have naps with Vanheim and Marverni. So if they want to fight, hopefully we get some turns to talk about it first. Because I'd rather give them stuff for free than let Pelagia slip into a clear position one. So there, like I said, there he's very worried about Pelagia. Well, it is definitely the... The only, yeah, apart from Kalem, I think it's the only other nation that can threaten him. Um, I think the other two are, are quite far below him in, in terms of their potential fighting. Uh, yes, agreed. And it's Pelagia is only because of the globals. I mean, if the others got, you know, the others could maybe do things, but uh, I, I think mean, Vanheim doesn't, globals. Vanheim doesn't scale very well, and I don't, they scale with blood basically this late in the game, and I don't think we've seen really much evidence of that. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and Marverni, I mean, they have a lot of Astral. Um, yeah, but I don't think they're... So the other two, I don't think, can can do it because they're a lot smaller and their economy doesn't scale as hard. Yeah. Um, they, they could they could still, you know, win fights and cause damage, but I don't... You know, I think I think it's Pelagia that's really got the uh, the ability to... I agreed. To, ...to a sustained war against the eco of Hinnom. Yes, and then they're not planning on casting Arcane Corruption, but Cataclysm is coming. That's true. It's on turn 100. Okay, we have Brass Claw Horrors taking out a couple of Long Dead. That didn't really accomplish what I think they were hoping for. No, do they do they struggle against Long Dead? I don't think so. Just... I mean, I, I don't know if they particularly struggle. I think the Long... Oh, well, first they're going to hit the PD, it looks like. Um, yeah, they're going to munch through them, though. And they get crushed. I think they just... They just bopped them. Just, just big person with big... Yeah. And you don't sure, care that yeah. much about your law. I don't. I don't know if Long Dead can get horror marked. I think they can, but uh, they're mindless, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that it matters. Uh, Pelagia finally attacks Calum. This is the great army of miscellaneous chaff. The sea chaff. <laughs> um, a sleeper leading it. No. Is that even a? Okay, that is the throne. That is a very small force to be attacking with. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't like uh, you know, attack all the other provinces he borders. At least, yeah. like where that from where that army borders. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand that attack. Why might why might that attack be? I mean, you sort of telegraph a lot that you're gonna you're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm not not quite convinced on that one. Kanam attacks Yomi and loses with a little raiding Maybe he party. Maybe just loses against. Uh, PD. Yeah, it looks like it. Marverni pings the monolith. <laughs> Kalem attacks Hinnom, but loses. This is the sorceress we saw get whopped by the big, big army. And we'll see, we'll see that army fight soon enough, I'm sure. Um, here is a different army with multiple uh, Nephilim. It's always a little... Let's yeah, get multiple Nephilim, here as well. multiple Melkarts, 135 Seer, 12 Shed, 3 yeah, Bales. 3 Bales. That's a little frightening. Marverni attacks Vanheim with Liches. This is, and Worm Mage, this is his uh, his answer to getting Winds of Death all over. Just to make a bunch of Immortal Mages. 
And they make some progress. Uh, it goes the other way too. Caleb attacked Hinnom. Caleb, yeah, oh sorry, Caleb, Caleb attacked Hinnom and won this one, losing a Harab Seraph against 6 PD. Yeah, but that's sort of, you have to really, just paying the tax. Yeah. <laughs> ah, two Wraith Lords get whopped in the Undermountain. No, they, they wouldn't, didn't they? We watched that. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. One of them One of them got, got killed. Uh, yeah, the Golem at home. Another Titan. Uh, is this going to be another Titan who falls eventually to the uh, the other Nephilim and his seductive, charming powers? He's just such a got such a good charisma rating. Just everyone wants he, to join him. He really does. Okay, so Hinnom has got a big, scary army here. Pop that fort. This one got cleared off. Um, where it's mostly just miscellaneous junk here. Where was that other big, uh, uh the other army's on this throne. Gotta love when you Yeah, and I don't think he can really fight. Like, I think he's going to have to recruit things for a little while to be able to fight them. Yeah. Yeah. Um... This is pretty scary looking. I'm not sure. What do we? What could he do? I mean, he. I mean, I think he needs other people to fight Hinnom. I don't think he's. I don't think he's doing it one v one now. Uh, no. Not with the level of play that we've seen from the the you know the Hinnom side and. Yeah. Uh, you know, with all the Sahir and everything. Yeah, demon. We still haven't seen demon cleansing, right? Or demonic cleansing. Uh, no, we haven't. We well, we, we did see him cast it once, I think, against Yomi. Uh, right. But this new <laughs> player, so and he kind of he sounds, you know, like he knows. Yeah, I'm excited to see. Stuff, it. So I think it, I think we might see it in the future. And we know he has that one queen. She's in a bit of an awkward position now. In that lake, but <laughs> if he can, uh, yes. if he can, you know, get her to safety somewhere, then that could be very useful. And I'm just kind of bypassed this fort. It looks like. Yeah, got some Vampire Lord with some Draconians and Great Eagles, more Siege machinery. Yeah, and free spawn as well. Yep, yep. Alright, well, smaller fight. I mean, it doesn't really sound like anybody's interested in fighting Hinnom. Uh, but it also seems like nobody's interested in, in getting the spoils from Kalem besides a relatively small little push here from Pelagia. I, I, I'm I surprised we don't see a Pelagian attack in every coastal province. No, I think it's sort of a bit of like decision paralysis. Yeah, maybe. They, have, they haven't necessarily been able to watch the thrashing that we've seen Caelan take either. So Yeah, that's true. They, that's may, true. Not, they may not realize. They, they could well have a load of scouts there. Like, could have they, they I think they certainly yeah. should um, at this point, but but yeah. Well, they've, they've acted anyway, and that might embolden yes. them. Right? Yes, perhaps they'll continue acting. And we've got a temple in every province. Gotta push that down. I mean, um, it's pretty great for them, yeah. But let's... Any, uh, any, anything else for this turn? Kind of quieter. Yeah, should we just go see the uh, Vanheim? Yes. Are there any border, what it looks like now, and then... Yeah, so Marverni has pushed past Vanheim. Yeah, I've seen. I mean, they're definitely up in provinces now, right? Uh, I think so. From when the war started, and I think you know they've taken a bit of stuff off uh, Kalem. Uh, they are. Yeah, Vanheim's down. Mm -hmm. I still think the Vanheim army is very scary, though. It is. I just don't know if we but... can afford to sit here forever. A bit like how the Kalem army was really scary earlier. It's not so scary if it doesn't do. <laughs> yeah, here we we've got we've got some storm demons here, so that's good. A bringer of misfortune. Bringer of misfortune is that a heliophagus? What is the bringer of misfortune? 
it might be, yeah. Can't or is it the uh, death summon, conjuration death summon that you can... Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see if he uses Sounds it. Sounds like someone you want to go and send in the general direction of the enemy. Yes. Yes, it certainly does. But, yeah, I mean, he's got to... He does, because he, he, you know, he can't be letting Marverney have something in his cap circle. That's, right. that's illegal. Right. You gotta, you gotta march. You gotta take these armies and, and do something. Yeah, and that lich could go into water and get that uh, that lake as well. And it's mm -hmm. Really annoying. Mm hmm. Um, he could try and like mind hunt these things to death. Could be a stealth with with the death access. Yeah, he could he could just uh, cloud trapeze on them pretty easily as well. True. Send them home. But it's nice to mind hunt them and have them be dead forever. Oh sure sure sure. Um, I don't know how much mind him he has his Van Hunt. Probably not a ton, but we are. I mean, we're on turn eighty-seven. Like, there ought to be some. Yeah. Well, we'll go to the next turn, and we'll we'll see if he does. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go to eighty-eight. All right. Caleb. So the problem I'm faced now is how to kill hundreds of Sayer that resist shock and cold. Kalem troops aren't going to do that, especially as they are all dead. Uh, a few ideas uh, ticking away that should hopefully come as a nasty surprise. In the meantime, I'm trying to counter raid on a budget. Lagia has purchased my two coastal thrones. Okay, there it is. That explains that. Right. Uh, Did they attack through the throne, or have they just sort of agreed that now? I think that I think that they must. This is him telling us. I bet that. They agreed it beforehand, but because he didn't attack the other throne, that was the only reason. That's true, but yeah, he's purchased the two coastal thrones for eighty air gems. Okay, sometimes is what you got to do, stay alive. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, you know, that's probably a pretty good deal for both of them because Palagia obviously really wants thrones. They didn't have any, so they're still maybe looking at trying to. Right, they have um, one, I think. You know, seriously try and win, and I think Caleb's just trying to cause a lot of damage to hit him. Yes, or at least that's the mindset they're in there. Yes. Ah, and he's gonna yeah, try and get go. yeah, try and get uh, Velasa from her lake with the Shambler skin. She'll probably be fairly killable, but it's she's achieving much underwater. Precisely. The lone Tartarian I have decided to be insane this turn. So if Hinnom okay. is any good, it should get killed too. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting to see. We'll see if it gets magic phased on. Uh, ah, and we've got a message from Cookies, uh, sneaking out a missive. Um, say thank you to the sub players. Yes, we are very happy. Um, I think, I think at this, we're gonna have Marverni get us uh, like a Hydra sub for a little bit, but I can't remember if it's happened just yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, his computer breaks down for like a week or two. Uh. So somebody else, they're, they're still working together, and he's still he. The player has not left. Um, but he has somebody else who, who does the turns for a little Just bit. Just on hiatus. Yeah. Here's a really bad joke. We know Hinnom lives on today because folks in the Midwest still drink pop, which we all know is the easiest way to consume extra pop. <laughs> I mean, he didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Well, we've got some magic face Hinnom's attacks. This is on the tart. Yep. Same. I think this is the same kit. Uh, I mean, this guy is, is low-key being the MVP. Yeah. He's pretty dope. Let's see if he takes another one here. What's the uh, MR of this plateau? Only 27. Uh, He's okay, definitely, definitely going to get it. Oh, no. Moss body's not going to save you. Nope, oh, I turned it on just in time. Well, that's Good another whole Tartarian uh, going the other way. She is horror marked. But it turns out cloud as a silver lining. Her being insane did not matter because she couldn't have moved out of here anyway. And here's a magic phase attack on Yomi, the golem. It's like it's just a raider. Is he missing an arm? The golem? Yeah. 
Uh, yes, he is. Yeah. Lost an arm. Might have been our uh, friends from last turn. It looks like he's going to get overwhelmed. Does he not have... He has a ring of turn. Who's taking damage? It must have just been the imps taking damage. Yeah, there he goes. Well, that doesn't work. No, I mean, no, no, he, no real losses, he... but... Nah. Spine horror membrane. Oh, this I mean, is... Um, to be fair, I'm just... This is a conversion attempt. So he's trying to... He's going to life after oh, death here. Oh, that what he's doing? They already life after death? Yeah, they do. They're all, they're, a bunch of them are named Marked, so he's turning all of his yeah. horror-marked guys into uh, Solus, or trying to. There's a lot of mages here. Let's see how he does it. Looks like uh, he's trying to burn burn him out with... Um, Soul Vortex. Vortex, yeah. I think it looks like he got... ended up... Ended up get, end, Ends up getting like four of them, but these uh, Ami are a little higher HP. Bunch of them route. He must have. We didn't. Did we see him cast the spell, or does he have like Ankh somewhere? Uh, yeah. Uh, so he, well, he he cast it. Yeah. He only managed to get four Ami turned, or or yeah, maybe one of them. Some horror. people retreated and might have might have died from that as well. Yeah, so. but he definitely had one of them die die. Yeah, I don't think that worked out. I would not have said that. I don't. I don't pretty, think that's the result he was looking for. Because they can like, uh, you can get so many different types. You can quite hard to predict what they're going to do. There's the Ankh. Ah. On a Mound King with seven HP. I mean, I'm sure this is somewhere that's perfectly safe, but. Uh, okay, so that didn't really. I, I mean. It wasn't disastrous, but I don't think yeah, that's I mean, the result it's, he was it's hoping just for. Like, yeah. uh, let's do. We'll do the Kalem uh, Hinnom. Two more dead Sir Harafs. Oh. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Let's see. I guess let's see. It looks like he's just doing air elementals, probably with his newly acquired air gems. Uh, well, okay, some air elementals, some. I actually like uh, doing a bit of both. Yeah, the, the Skelly Sphere helps keep them alive while the air elementals have time to do their work. What happened in this one where it didn't work? Same plan? Yeah, same same basic plan. Obviously, there's a lot more here. Whenever I do raiding or anything like this, I do like putting like the mages to get in the corner instead of in the middle. So they, because you can, like the chaff that you summon is more likely to catch people yeah, coming in. Yeah, a little bit more likely, yeah. All right, well, Yomi's not giving up against Hinnom. <laughs> you can't keep Yomi down. No. Uh, the uh, Rob Seraph turns up, <laughs> finds Find. out the Great Tartarian has betrayed them as well. Yeah, it's terrible news. And he retreated. He's a smart guy. That is a smart move. Not sure exactly what he was planning on doing. But oh, yeah, I guess. Wraith Lord getting a little work done. And I'm losing multiple provinces to Yomi. Caleb trying to get it, losing to Yomi. Is this one of the stolen monstrosities? I can't even remember if him yeah, around. I think it I think it must be. Oh, oh this looks like an agreement. Well, it might not be actually, he might because he's trying agreement. to fight in other places. Yeah, I think he's just doing it. I don't think it's an agreement. <laughs> yeah. Um. That is the sickle whose crop is pain. Nice way to get some death gems. Let's see how much he manages yeah, to harvest. Yeah, from a sort of uh, a law thing, I feel like a Tartaro would be somebody that would be really up for using that weapon. <laughs> yes. Got two so far. This does have a ring of returning as well. The uh, Skultata shield is actually uh, killing a lot more. 
<laughs> Demon Priest was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. Everyone else ran away. And was like, super nah, slow. No, I've changed my mind. So he got uh, seven, seven death gems. That's okay. Probably hoped for more, but keep. Uh, it's not a. It's not a a trade. I don't think so. It's not like no. I don't, a, no, I don't uh, think it is. Yeah. Uh, nice I just I just see that, and I just uh, I just think it is. You know. I get suspicious. Please move that that item. Now, Caleb goes ahead and kills a jade sorceress. Oh yes. Put That's one, on one back on the board. Put it on off. the board. Yeah. I do actually think they are a pretty decent mage, but just... Here is the Stiff queen attempting to get out with her shambler armor. Um... I... I think if even... It, I think if she wins, I think she's going to get magic phase. Yes. Uh, she's definitely going to win this one. I mean... You put a lot of... Yeah, that's yeah. Well, I mean, I that's go. what that's what that's what the elemental royalty do, don't they? Yeah, but I I would agree. I think that I don't know if I don't know. Um, the new Caitlyn player hasn't seen, like, because there was not um, there was no communication right between the old Caitlyn player and the new one. Oh, is there not? Okay. So I don't think that Caitlyn player had seen our uh, Nephilim friend when he first no. uh, contemplated this plan. No, Avery, I really would have, uh, I mean, I presume he didn't have one, but a, a chainmail core work would have been the ideal thing, I think. Yeah. And I'm attacks. I just, I would just want to see if we have any, looks like no real fights. There's Plodger going after. Calum. Independence. Well, I'm interested to see what Pelagia does with these uh, thrones. Yeah. I think he's probably just like, I don't want Hinnom to have them, to some degree. Well, yeah, but he, it's more... You know, it's more places he can summon stuff. Yeah, where is the... Which other throne did he give him? This one? I'm surprised he hasn't moved. I mean, it must be that one. But uh, nothing is even moving. Yeah, I, was, I mean, also, if I was Blasier, I think I would have just gone and taken it. Yeah, I don't... As much as... I don't think I would have made a deal. No. I think, I, having thought I, about it a bit more. I mean, no, I don't I don't think he needed to do that. Like, he can, but I, I think the only reason you do that is if you're planning on going and fighting someone else. Like, if you yeah. want to do that... But you also that... just scale so much from each bit of territory. Like, he doesn't really need, like... Well, forts are good for him because he has gives an edge bounty, but, like, the he, he just needs territory to give him space to fit more people in that he can uh, mm -hmm. he can then just use gems to some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I think he needs to potentially be a little more aggressive here. I think he one hundred percent needs to be. But you know, he gets two thrones, uh you know, he'll be on three then. Yeah. Yeah. Keep scaling. Yeah, well I mean he's gonna need to make sure he's he's prepped because corruption's coming up. Yeah, he's got a decent but, army uh, on his cataclysm. west there. They might be going to go and try and uh, grab some stuff from Yomi. Yeah. This throne, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think he should try and get that throne. I just, yeah, I, just, I think we need to see more movement. But. Huh. Let's check our other conflict. Liches moving in. Counter raiding. This is that lake that just went. So if there were mine, uh, mine I'm not seeing too much uh, sort of counter raiding from Van Hein trying to do something about this. Does Marverni get Celestials? No. Is that a Definitely Merc not. group? I don't. Uh, yeah, it must be. Because there's also that Merc uh, leader as well. Yes. Yeah. So, Marverni is... Uh, I mean, he's continuing to, to push well, inwards. Actually... Yeah, I mean, it's just... He's got... I don't... What he's, is... getting, he's getting income from it all as well, right? So, it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's kind of fantastic for him. Yeah. 
I don't understand what Vanheim is doing. And he's not... He's still doing his turns, right? Because he's still going yeah, and yeah. doing some stuff. So I just don't know why he's not, you know... He's Vanheim. I would have, he's, he's got loads of thug, thug stuff he could do to, yeah. to catch those raiders. I don't know. We got a, a tree. Lord stop, here. He stopped doing the wind of death every turn as well. I mean, is he running out of gems? Uh, I, mean, I mean, maybe, but it doesn't cost too much to send somebody out. And no, I would, well, the wind of death also has been a little bit countered because there's now a fort everywhere. But true, there is that army just east of the throne, though. With the boars. Oh yeah, a hundred boars. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a key piece of tech he's looking for. Maybe, maybe because his research it's pretty really low. Isn't it's it? really yeah. low. Um, I mean, Pelagi looks like he's. That's Caleb, I think. Oh, sorry, Caleb is leveling up. Well, yeah, Caleb's definitely leveling up. All of his mages have died. Or at least many, many of his mages. Yeah, what I mean, do you think those those banes are doing down there? Like... Being commanded by a caveman champion. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, they're looking cool. We've got 35 PD there, actually, so that's quite a lot. <laughs> They're, they're... How much PD? How much PD is he? Is he just got six everywhere? Six, zero. Oh no, sorry, uh, six. Was that maybe that was a dump from when he was fighting him um, ages ago? Could be, yeah. Or maybe could be, large, yeah. Could be events too. Nope, oh, looks like a Hinam dump. Um, or at least a, okay. A well, dump. I mean, pretty fantastic for Marverni. Yeah, Marverni is making a lot of progress. I'm not and sure. And they've clearly got like a like a like a serious factory for those liches because we're seeing a lot of them. Yes. It certainly looks that way. I'm not quite sure how he is affording them all actually because he's got. I mean, there's a death site. Death site. Death. Oh, that's him. Double death. Oh, sorry. Two yeah, death I mean, I guess here, he, he can search it. Here. Yeah. Death okay. here. Death here. Death. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to go through all of them. I was just asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he has got the leeches now as well, so we can just search it up. So. Yeah, it's probably all, it's probably all been uh, uh, dark knowledge. Dark knowledge. Something else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. I mean, he's making progress. See what... If, if Vanheim can come up with some new tools. Or if these liches I think, are just going to come I think he's, he must have the tools. He's just no. Going. I don't think we actually watched any of these. We've just been kind of like, yeah, it's a lich. But it's actually, it's two liches and a worm. And they're just doing, okay. Does the worm take damage from the cell vortex? Uh, it's taking damage from something. But if he dies, he does just turn into bugs. It's got regen as well. Yeah. What is he? What is he casting? What is he actually? We saw charm. Elemental fortitude, regen, enlarge, charm. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, charm could be. That's really good to be if someone tries to fuck against it. Uh, I'm playing a nation with nature in Dom Six now, and every time I see the charm has changed to glamour, it just kills me inside. <laughs> uh... It hurts. Uh, I think we should do one more. I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty down. Yeah, we're up to 89, I think. Let's see if we can get a big fight. All right, Kalem. It sends me that Kalem hasn't been using the Conjuration discount site well previously. Having a huge bank of Astral Gems, you could be summoning big mages, halfway decent troops. It's a bit of a shame. We're losing land and forts at an unfortunate pace at the moment, and there's not much we can do about it yet. I think we've got one big fight left in us um, that we might even stand some kind of chance in. Um, so it has to happen when we're ready. Losing the Tartarian was expected. Um, you know, Hinnom stealing it is a bit annoying, but not exactly hugely surprising. I'm throwing a little cover for the Water Queen to hopefully avoid donating that as well. I'm not expecting she'll actually escape, but we'll see. It'll be handy to have her for a final showdown. It definitely would. Definitely would. Much more important than that Tartarian, I think. Yes. 
Uh, it's been a while since we suicided some Melkrats doing something stupid. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't have to wait too much longer. Uh, we did have a Doom Horror kill helping elves into stupid hell this turn. He was full of gear, expecting to deal with lesser horrors. Rest in peace. That is sad. He he's was, one of he's, the OG, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's been around a long time. <laughs> well, when you when you mess around with horrors, eventually the bill comes due. But pour one out for killing el helping elves into stupid hell. <laughs> uh, here another attempted um, conversion. Conversion only gets one this time. Yeah, I think he he needs to try a different. Right, he needs another way. approach. Here's some special monsters. Kill a Pelagian priest. Hinnom is moving into the lake with oh, his. Oh, uh... he won that. That's 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 painful. I mean, they were they were trapped, but that's a lot of. Uh... They are retreating. There's no leadership. Oh no! I thought they were. They're just the things that the uh, queen summons, aren't they? I thought they were all major, like water mages. Then. Oh no! No. Oh no! That's well, what terrible. happened to the Ichthyid Lord? Hold on. There was there. There should be. Should be commander, but are they magic? And then do they? They, they, they are, um, and they just they HP route yeah, the army. Yeah, they HP route the whole thing. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, I think that is what happened. Well, it's easy. They, they would have lost it anyway. I'm pretty sure. Uh, probably. Vampire fails. Oh, oh nope. Still just killing PD. Got a little bit excited there. I was. Uh, here's the against the queen. Just some long dead and this one horite who has a midget masher. Just not going to work against the queen. That's uh, that's that guy starling on the screen. The queen, the queen retreat, just retreated, so, which is very fair. Uh, yeah, I mean that could be really good. Um, if that if that got away, if it got away, yeah. Now there's also. Which, uh, I mean, I mean it, it's you know it's pretty likely, right? Because it's it should have a, it's got a lot of uh, morale. It should, yeah. Well, unless he lost the territories around it. What uh, what province is that? That's. Yep, there she is. Really, all it did is it helped her get an extra turn movement. Uh, well, that's that's fine though. That's that's an um, ideal scenario because it could have gone. You know, it could have gone back here, yeah. But it could have gone fact, back towards the lake, and that would have been. Yeah, it would have been more likely that it went back here. Uh, he got the good outcome. Yeah, but it's gonna have to do it again. Well, he could, he could send like a load of troops there. Yeah, he could he could send some more stuff as cover. I'm surprised Hinnom didn't magic phase. Hmm. Magic phase. What well, did he? Did well? Did because that didn't get caught. Oh, did the queen move to that province and the queen, then the queen moved retreated. here? Oh, okay. And right, retreated here. I think. Um, and yeah, the, yeah. the nephilim isn't ready yet because he got somebody the turn before, so he's got to move back to a lab. But okay. I don't. I don't think he he'll steal her turn. if she's retreating. But. We've no, got another really lucky. another big ball of uh, of stuff. Yeah, some more. some sacreds in there. Yeah. Pillaging. Oh, there's the Tartarian Titan. Yeah, the Tartarian just <laughs> having some fun. Yeah. Um, well, that's a that's a that's a you know a little a little win for Kalim, I think, losing that and then it pillages. Yeah. This was. Uh, Kalian Fort that just got killed. I mean, this one's under siege and is uh, is pops. Yeah, I mean, that's it's really a big a testament. one. That's, that's, that's to... more as well, so that'd be. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It's a testament to how much stuff Kalim had. That they've taken this many losses, and we're still like, all right, yeah, you know, we're moving in. Ready to go again, my lord. <laughs> yeah. It's also got that uh, Heavenborn, which is one of the really good heroes that. Um... Uh huh. Uh -huh. gets. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he uh, what his plan is, because um, I think I mean Caleb has just about every every piece of research possible, right? 
I think he's oh, missing yeah. blood. Yeah. So we could be we could see a big thing with demonic cleansing. Um, he could throw out presumably all the battlefield stuff to try and and chew through with that you know with the help of that cleansing. Um, there's a lot of yeah. We, what, what, weapons what's Kalem's god as well? Have we seen Kalem's gods? I think it's just a dude, isn't it? Is it just? He doesn't really have a blast, does he? So he doesn't. So I don't yeah, I don't. I don't remember the god being particularly relevant. Um, okay, but and then Vanheim. Are there any pings Vanheim itself? Uh, nice. Oh, okay. Angels there's a, of Van there's a thug there. Can I try and? Yeah, try and catch them. Didn't get shown. Lich. Another one. So, I mean, Vanheim has lost three of his Cap Circle provinces with one Van Hurst resisting. And there is a big army on the throne. Which is cracked. And pretty sure that the main van or what was the main van home army is inside there i believe that is correct so we're in for a big battle please yes i think so i yeah i i think i think vanheim has lost the will to live here it yeah yeah um but that doesn't mean that he's lost the will to have a big fight that's true, especially given that it's not optional, unless he does like a vortex of returning, which I don't, I don't see. Yeah, it doesn't seem super likely. So, I mean, I'm not. I don't think. I think he can just beat that army as well. I'm seeing a lot of. I think so. Yeah, it's a lot of great like, boars, boar warriors, noble warriors. I think it's just trash. Yeah, for the yeah. Most I mean, there's, there's liches. We don't know what the mages are going to do. They could. Yeah. Definitely do some stuff, but. I wonder if they're, they're starving. Gonna to, they're going to need to pull some weight. Yeah. I bet they're starving terribly. This province only has sixteen hundred people. Yeah, they, <laughs> a quarter of the population is is the side, the side of the army. So they are definitely starving. Vanham's probably starving too. I mean, he could have a bunch of nature majors. In my opinion. There could be nature majors. There could be supply items. You could also just not care about the bull starving. I can solve. Yeah, also an option. But, okay. I mean, I, I'm excited to see. I want to see this fight. I'm excited to see what uh, Calum has in mind to see if he can stop this sort of Hinnom uh, juggernaut push. And yeah, I'd like... a little look at Plurge here to see. Yeah. Oh, so they, they, no, so they attacked Yomi. What? They did. Was it, not... There was no battle, though. That's why we didn't see it. Mm, so I'm not sure why you'd make landfall there, but uh, <laughs> you've got to make it somewhere. And yeah. it, that was, you know, that was the only place you could get to from that province if he wants to go for speed. Yeah. Uh, and he really, I mean, capturing forts is, is great for him because he can definitely. Was use there them. was there always not a fort here? No, there used to be a fort. I assume we'll see a magic phase fort go up here for Hinnom. Yeah, I think so. And it might slow Pelagia down now turn. bordering Hinnom on two fronts now. Pelagia, uh, yes, over here as well. But you gotta, I think I, you gotta go with Pelagia. You are running out of time. Yeah, it's good. To, he's making moves now, though. He's he is making, making moves. moves. It's great to see. And he's also really hit the button down on making forts, so he can spend his money. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, I mean, if, if I recall, his income is actually very comparable just to Hinnom's. Yeah, it's actually below Hinnom's. <laughs> um, Hinnom just has so many more provinces. I mean, I'm actually very surprised that Kalim's is as high as it is. That's true. I mean, Kalim just has a lot of stuff, a lot of territory still. I mean, he's all of this. Drew, that's true, but I think he's got like... No, he's still got over half of what he was at his max, actually, hasn't he? I think. Yeah. Can we look at his province graph, actually? Uh, yeah, he's at a little over half his max, I think. Yeah, but his income seems a lot more durable. I mean, I guess he's still got, you know, in terms of caps and stuff, he's still got 
Yeah, I still got some of them. Still got, still got more well, and them. a lot of the land he took most recent. Well, like some of the most recent land, right? He took was Yomi's, which isn't yeah, worth anything. Isn't. Yeah. From a from a gold perspective. So he can lose a yeah, lot. Malverni nearly got more provinces than Caleb now as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vanheim circling the drain here. Yeah, should Same we uh, Yomi. just see the army size graph? Sure. I just want to see how. How how Palash is looking, uh, how Hinnom's looking. Big rebound here. I guess this is turning on either troop yeah, recruitment or the summons or whatever it was Caleb had. Resource access expenditure, to. yeah. yeah. And uh yeah, so Palagia nearly more than Marverni with the boar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean Palagia has a lot of troops. She's gotta go spend them. Yeah, I don't know how good they are. Uh, that's true. But if you put, uh, you know, Army of Gold, Weapons of Sharpness, Will of the Fates, like, it matters less. It does. It does. Not none, but... And against, like, Hinnom, he certainly can do Demonic Cleansing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I think... I, I think Pelagia's current biggest fear should just be that Hinnom is wins before he mobilizes. Uh, yeah, because Hinnom can also, yeah, they don't have to fight Pelagia in order to win. I think they can get enough thrones anyway. Yep. yep. And like, this is weakly defended. They could look to take this at any time. I think they have a nap, yeah. but it's weakly yeah, but defended. Naps are sort of, uh, a sort of advisory when it comes to winning the game. Yeah, this is weakly defended. Although, obviously, you know, it's always... When you try and go for the Throne Rush, you're, you expect a lot of magic phase attacks on you. And, and you know, teleports in and whatnot. But this is not weakly defended. <laughs> um, but no, like, these are got both... more Lawmasters than Marrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are both one-turn pops. That's a one-turn pop. Already took this one. Yeah, what's he on now? Four? Uh... At least. I don't know if he's claimed them all, right? Because he's got one, two. Um, and then he's got two in the in the next row. Yes. The next column. Three, four. And that's, it's just the four, but it's, what did I say? Is it seven to win? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's seven. Seven to win. And uh, does have the like Yomi Throne's pretty, pretty vulnerable. The Vanheim Throne's pretty vulnerable. Um, Does he have any to take from Caleb? Then the, Mar the Marverni one was pretty vulnerable, so that's... But that is all against different It's all against players. different people. But I don't it's think... All in, it's all in quite different directions as well, so it's hard for him to have... And they're all quite far away from where... He, well, two of them are quite far away from where his, his main armies are. Yeah. There's a big army of Sayer and Shed here. That could uh, amble over pretty easily. Look at this line of look at this line of forts. These are all um, wizards' towers. So he's oh done. God, that's that's wizards' towers all over here, and I think he did that so he could protect temples. Uh, that's uh, that's some that's some rich man stuff. That is. Yeah, he's pushing dominion. Yeah, Pelagia's um, actually getting down. I think I think this kind of Dominion push precipitates some sort of Dominion based uh global. Hmm, I could I could see it. And that would be very sad for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. We unfortunately we can't really see whose Dominion is what. But I think there's a lot of Hinnom Dominion out here. A lot of priests. A lot of temples. With priests. We, we will have to find out though, because I've got to help. Yes. Okay. So we'll back in the next episode. Yes. And hopefully see a big fight between my Hopefully see a big fight. Yes, thanks everyone. Thank you, Pedis, for joining me. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. For watching. And we hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Cheers, everyone.